After a three-hour meeting this morning, the South Carolina High School League voted to keep high school sports in their regular seasons, but with a delayed start. This means high school football will remain in the fall. But the other proposal on the table, called the Lexington Plan, was to move high-contact sports to the spring so there could be more time for the virus numbers to decline. So many coaches, like Chad Smith and Pickens, prepared for a spring season. It was not. I was expecting them to go with the Lexington Plan. Uh, which would have put football, like basically divide spring into two sections and have football as the first one. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy they made a decision, and, uh, you know, we're going to go with it. But other coaches didn't know what to think. Some of the uncertainties right now, that you're just not sure what's going to happen anyway. Um, so I uh, wasn't surprised, but at the same time wasn't sure either. Now with the decision made, football games will start September 11th if everything goes perfectly. But if 2020 has taught us anything, there is no perfect plan. So there is flexibility in the decision to adapt with the climate. And you've got to be flexible and you've got to understand that this is just a blueprint, so to speak, and it, and it may change at any moment in time. But at least gives you, um, you know, something to plan with and, and to work around. The plan opens up a whole new set of obstacles for all fall sports, but especially football now needs to make sure they have the games they need. It's been uh, getting on the phone, trying to make sure we're not left out of having a seven-game season. Um, you know, we've got four conference games, so now I have three to pick up. A lot of coaches are optimistic that we'll be able to see some high school football this year. They also said when it comes down to it, the safety of the student-athletes need to come above all else. I'm Amanda Keene. Fox Carolina Sports.